a few days ago, there was an article that was posted online that showed if you took a Wi-Fi router and you put it in a box covered in aluminum foil, that it would make your signal stronger throughout your household. I've got the tools here to try it, and we're going to give it a shot. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look and see what my signal looks like right now. I've got an old school Netgear Nighthawk router, not plugged into anything, just broadcasting its normal network. And I'm going to use a tool called Wi-Fi Explorer Pro 3. Now, Wi-Fi Explorer Pro 3 runs on a Mac, and what it allows you to do is take a look at your network. And I'm going to take a look at my network and what the Wi-Fi looks like everywhere in my home. And you can see right here is the Netgear 64. This is the SSID that's being broadcast. Now, it's got a really strong signal where I'm sitting right now. It's showing the Neg 23, and it looks pretty decent. And, you know, obviously, if I'm sitting right beside it, it's going to work really well. But what I want to do is give it a little bit more distance. So we're going to move the laptop to a location a little bit further away and see what that looks like. All right, so I've gone to the other side of the room here, and I put some distance between myself and the access point. And right now, I'm showing a signal strength that looks like it's about a negative 39. So that's a really great signal. Now, this is a big open room between myself and the access point, but I wanted to do it where there were no obstructions to see if it made a difference just in an open environment. Because the thing about Wi-Fi is when you introduce MIMO and you introduce the ability for multiple antennas and multiple ins and outs, what MIMO stands for, multiple in, multiple out, what happens is it takes signals that are reflected off of walls, that are bounced off of walls and the floor and the ceiling and everything in the room, and it recombines that signal at the location of the transmitter and the receiver to give you a compound signal that's much stronger than a just single stream. But I wanted to look at this in this environment so we didn't have to worry about MIMO working the way that it should. I just want to big, have big open area. So I'm showing right now a negative 45 is, is what it's balanced at out. Negative 45 um, and that's on 20 megahertz channel and 2.4 gigahertz. And I'm showing a negative 54 in an 80 megahertz channel in 5 gigahertz. So now I'm going to see if we can find an increase by putting this thing in a box with aluminum foil. Here we go. All right, so to get started, what I have is just a regular roll of aluminum foil. Stronger, thicker, heavier than the leading national brand, it says. This is fantastic aluminum foil. HEB Texas Tough for my local HEB, 37 and a half square feet. We're going to use this to line this box. And this is nothing crazy. This is just a regular Amazon box, just a regular cardboard box. We're going to cut it apart and make a cool little reflector out of it. <laughs> so clearly this is a work of art. Uh, obviously this is something that you would want to put anywhere in your household, especially prominently displayed where your guests are going to be and where your Wi-Fi is going to be. You know, uh, aesthetically it looks like one of the most pleasing things that you can imagine. No one in my household is going to have a problem with this big Wi-Fi box that I've now built. Beside the point, let's see if this thing actually works. I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it over here by the Wi-Fi. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to lift up the Netgear router. And we're going to put it down here and we're going to put the Netgear router right inside that Wi-Fi box in the same location that it was before, except now we've got this massive aluminum thing behind it. So let's run back over and see if it changes signal strength at all. All right, so we're back here at the laptop now that we've got the Wi-Fi set up on the other side in the aluminum repeater. Um, and we're going to go ahead and look at Wi-Fi Explorer Pro 3, and we're going to see what it looks like. All right, so we fired it up, and in 2.4, we're on channel 5, 20 megahertz channel, operating at 2.4, we see a signal of negative 34. That's actually a better signal than what we had before. If we reference the old one, we were at a negative 44. So we've seen uh, a, a value difference of 10 dBm, which is kind of a big deal uh, in Wi-Fi. We went from a 44 to a 34 in 2.4 gigahertz. Now in five gigahertz, we're now sitting at a 52, 53, it's bouncing back and forth. Whereas originally we were at a 49 
uh, and 50 before. So we've actually seen the signal get worse <laughs> in five gigahertz and better in 2.4 gigahertz. So did it work? Uh, I don't know. It looked like it kind of worked in 2.4, but I don't know that we're a lot of people are using 2.4 in their home Wi-Fi networks anyway these days. So 2.4, definitely a little bit of a signal increase there. 5 gig, definitely a signal decrease there. So I don't know, you know, jury's out. Did it work? Kind of, maybe a little. If you've tried this, leave a comment. Let me know if it's worked for you or hasn't worked for you. I think the big thing to me overall isn't if there's a better signal or not. It's are you comfortable putting a big uh, aluminum foil covered box in your home in order to get worse Wi-Fi on 5 gig and better Wi-Fi on 2 gig. Anyway, this is a lot of fun. Thanks for listening. Make sure you check out the podcast at thewirelesspodcast.com. Thanks.